Welcome to another episode on Just for the Mothers. This is episode 10. On today's episode, we are going to be looking at the SKX013 and we're going to do an, a movement upgrade from the current 7S movement to the NH36 movement. First of all, I want to start off by saying uh, a massive, massive apology to everyone who has tuned into this channel and is on the lookout for new videos. I haven't uploaded a video for uh, the past month or so. I've been really, really busy on my uh, first channel, which is uh, the Watcher, reviewing watches, etc. So, finally got around to doing this. Now, if you have been following this channel, this was my first project along with the Monster Gen 1. So basically, I've been refurbing this SKX-13. The things I've done to date is I've changed the crystal to a sapphire chamfered uh, AR coated from, uh, I think, CT mods or something. Um, I've also changed the bezel insert and I've actually now replaced the full bezel. Originally, the bezel was a bit damaged, so uh, done a bit of rework on it, but I still wasn't happy. And on eBay, one day, uh, a used bezel popped up, um, bought it, swapped out the insert. So today's video is going to be swapping at the movement um, with the NH36 and also replacing the crown. Um, you have to replace the crown and stem uh, to an upgraded NH35. The stem from the NH35 will actually work in a 7S if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, but it won't work the other way around. And uh, so let's go ahead, let's start off the video and let's start dismantling this watch and start replacing the movement. With the case back removed, we can go ahead and begin to remove that stem. In order to do that, you've got to press down on this little release lever. And once you've pressed that down, you can pull the stem and the crown out. Then just dislodge the movement slightly, flip it over, and we've got the movement out with the dial and the hands. Now with the SKX13, uh, the chapter ring is not actually under the crystal. It's just placed on top of the dial. It's not stuck down or anything. And so we can just remove that, put that to the side. We then use a movement holder because we now need to take off the hands. Now, because this movement doesn't hack, you'll need to line up the hands, the hour and the minute, and then just wait for the second hand to come into alignment and then uh, pull them off. So in order to do that, I'm going to use the Bergeron dial protector and I've used a, uh, I've actually bought a new hand pulling tool um, and now pretty easy to use. You just get in underneath the hour hand, press down on the sides as you see, and uh, the center shaft on that hand puller, uh, that will press down and it will pull the hands off uh, without you having to do any pulling yourself. We now need to start off by prying off the dial and we need to get underneath so we can see the day and date windows on the movement. Next step is to actually remove that day window. Now it's important to remove that day window because that needs to get transferred to the new NH36 that we're going to use. The reason is the NH36 normally comes at a 3 p.m. or uh, 3 o'clock crown. Now with the date disc here, it's for a 4 p.m. or 3.50, whatever you want to call it. So we do need to swap them out, otherwise you will have a misaligned date. Now in order to do that, I use a very thin screwdriver and there's a C-clip right under the pinion or that center stem and you just carefully slide it underneath and pry it off. Don't be too forceful otherwise that C-clip will just fly off. As you can see it's pretty easy just to slip the screwdriver underneath and just turn it side to side. Once that has been removed just keep it to the side keep it safe and we need to now remove the day disc. I use uh, you can use it's easy to come off uh, you can just use some blue tack um, and pull it off or I've just slid some tweezers underneath, lifted it off. Now there's a little gearing date. Um, just take that, keep these parts safe. You might need them afterwards. Uh, when you do replace it on the NH36, that wheel uh, is also present. Uh, so you can use that one or you can use the one that you have. The next step here, we now need to remove this black plastic movement holder. Now the gray plastic movement holder on the NH36 will not fit the case uh, on the SKX13 or uh, the SKX007. It actually will fit, we have to squeeze it in pretty tight, um, but what you wanna do is you wanna swap the holders over. There's a difference in thickness, that's all there is. And it's easily done, um, you know, don't 
fret because you're touching a movement as long as you're not forcefully uh, pressing into the back uh, to mess with that flywheel you should be okay uh, easily easy as that as you've seen me do it just go around clip it off uh, and then we can now get nh36 once we get that ready by removing the stem that's in there we can start off by replacing uh, the movement holder I think that's the first step because that's the most fiddliest job. Once we do that, swapping out the date disc uh, is a piece of cake. And so let's go ahead, remove that movement holder uh, on the NH36 and swap them over. Now swapping them over, uh, it is very fiddly. I've, I've fast forwarded through this. Um, what you need to do is where you see on the sides of the movement holder, um, those little holes for the dial feet, um, those protrusions sorry you need to fit them in first so you fit one side in effectively because it's plastic you want to stretch out the other side and get it to go under the date disc now that is extremely difficult what you can do is actually uh, remove the date disc but that requires a lot more disassembly it will add significant time onto your mod uh, and also you need to reassemble it once done i will make a separate video on how to do that um, but for the most part, just messing around with it, um, just keep trying to press it, um, just pull it from one side as far as you can, and then it will require slight adjustments. It is a bit of a knack point, uh, meaning you just need to do it in order to figure it out. There is no uh, clear steps, one, two, three. It is something which you just, you just need to fit on. Um, it will take you a long time the first time doing it, but once you're there, like I said, you can be a bit vigorous with the movements. You, um, they're not that sensitive so just make sure it is pretty safe but as you can see i'm just as i've just you know took some time myself eventually i've managed to get it on and then just work around the whole movement holder to make sure it is clicked in uh it will fit on perfectly once that's done we're ready to take off uh and swap out the day disc so you just follow the same process that we did on the 7s movement slip in that screwdriver uh, it has to be a very thin one and a very small one uh, take off that c-clip keep it safe and then we can just remove that day disc from the nh36 movement once that's removed you'll see the gear cog is still present uh, we don't need to swap that over and we just get the day disc from the 7s movement and just uh, press it on now in order to make that catch the wheel it's as simple as placing the date disc on and just rotating it with your fingers until you'll actually feel it settle down you'll feel it sit flush once that's sat down you can further test that by just rotating the date function to make sure that the date is moving and clicking just right if it hasn't sat down or it's not rotating correctly then just don't worry about it and just keep rotating it you will actually feel it catch and it will settle itself down you can also place the dial on top just to double check the position so line up the dial feet from the original dial and then just in the date day window just make sure that the date disc and the date wheel do actually line up and then you know that is perfect and then we can actually put the c-clip back on to secure that date wheel to the actual movement now in order to replace that c-clip just lift that c-clip up and put it over the actual center shaft once you've done that use the tips of your tweezers to press down firmly and that c-clip will then click itself into place just double check and make sure that is seated and that will keep the date disc secure so the dial and the hands have been reassembled we're going to put that movement within the case the chapter ring has also been applied to the dial fit the case simply over the whole movement and dial assembly and just make sure you double check for alignment and once you're happy with the alignment, we now need to move on and start sizing up a new stem and applying the new S crown. Once you have screwed in that crown into your uncut NH36 stem, ensure you press it in and uh, make sure it is clicked all the way in. We now need to measure how much of the stem we will need to cut. Get a hold of some calipers and you want to measure the distance between the end of the crown tube to the start of your crown as you can see there so ensure both tips of the caliper are touching both points end of the crown tube and the start of the crown now that is the distance 
or the length of stem you actually need to trim so the crown does sit in nicely within the crown tube and so that's eight mil so what we then need to do is pull the stem back out uh, unscrew obviously the crown and line it up with that measurement use a permanent marker just to create a marking now i'm going to fast forward to this bit and um, but just talk you through what i'm doing in order for it to make sense to you guys so basically with the marking done you place the stem within uh, i've got this micro ss drill bit whatever vice or you can just use some pliers uh, and cut extra and then always bring it back down um, every time you do make a snip you've got to make sure you file down the sides to remove any burr um, and what you've got to do is just keep replacing the crown if it doesn't fit right take it back out shave a bit more off um, put it back in obviously after replacing the crown just to make sure it does fit i had to do this twice over um, to make sure everything did fit right and the last stage of this once you're happy with the length of the stem is apply a touch of loctite to the end screw the crown back down and press it in make sure everything works and you're good to go once that's done apply some silicon grease to the case back gasket uh, if it is in good working order uh, close up the case back and that's it we are ready to go rock and roll the mud has been completed so there we have it everyone all the hard work finally completed finished to recap we've replaced the older outdated 7s movement and updated it with the nh36 we've also had to use a new stem and therefore we replaced the crown with an upgraded aftermarket signed crown um what are your thoughts on this build so how was the instruction how was the video now you know it's something which everyone can do i learned from the very start a lot of these projects a lot of these tasks do take a lot of time you know i've cut so much out of the video um so you do need a bit of patience a bit of time if you are considering modding yourself um the thing is these movements they cost me 20 quid so don't be afraid just buy another movement buy two in case you mess one up and buy a few stems because no doubt in starting this up you are going to make errors um i've been through countless stems before i ever got my first stem just right and i had to watch other videos to do it i've broken of damaged cases broken bezels broken bezel inserts you know it's part of the learning journey um you know if you want to mod a special project for yourself you do need to try beforehand um before you apply all your skills to that one project um as i mentioned i'll be doing another video on just how to you know assemble a handset on a watch i'll also review the different kind of tools that you can use um also let me know in the comment section your thoughts on this video and the mod Thank you everyone and I'll see you on the next episode.